ladies and gentlemen, toy enthusiasts and those new to Tough Nerd Toys LLC. I'm your host Uncle Nerd and welcome to another exciting episode of Busted Open. In fact, it's a premiere episode of Busted Open because I have something special that I am going to show you and that is the NES Classic Edition 2018 re-release. Yes, I finally got my hands on it. So what we're going to do, we're going to check out the package, check out the product and see if it's worth the scratch everybody and happy 4th of July uh, you're gonna have to pardon if you hear like fireworks popping off in the background it's the 4th of July yeah I live in the hood and you know how it goes I mean it just is what it is but I wanted to come and um, show you guys that I had got the NES classic edition which I am very happy to have and I got the extension cables with it um, I mean I, when it when it was advertised last year I wasn't able to get a hold of it because of the simple fact that um, it had sold out so quickly so I have forgotten to put in my, no, well, no, I did put in a pre-order, but um, somehow or another, I had forgotten the pre-order. So I looked online and I was able to just go to Best Buy and they had it in stock and at the regular price of $59.99. So of course I went and grabbed that one and another one so I can have one. And I mean, like, it's not like I couldn't use emulators or anything like that, but I mean, um, it's, it, I just had to have this because the box looks like the classic NES box and everything like that. And even though I'm going to bust this open, I definitely, I'm definitely going to keep the box because I'm going to put it up on the shelf behind me. So when we do like the uh, podcast, which of course you should check out TNT Photon HQ with me and my co-host, you'll love it. We've covered various topics. Sometimes the topics are a little bit adult theme, but we try to keep it toned down for you guys out there. Um, but yeah you it's nothing else to say but pure happiness so i mean i got the box here and it is measuring in the box by itself is measuring at about let me see mm, six six inches high and let's see eight and a half inches wide about so yeah, that's what you get right there. And everything on here is just so nostalgic right here. You got the Nintendo Entertainment System logo up there, Nintendo Classic Edition, nice little art right there, product image right here, Nintendo logo, over 30 games, classic NES games inside of this console. Yeah, those are not gunshots. Those are um fireworks, okay? It says games include Super Mario, woohoo, Donkey Kong, boom, 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 boom. And Metroid, Pac-Man, Zelda, Kirby's Adventure, Kirby, 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 he's the star of the show, Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. Yeah, I am so happy to have this. This thing looks absolutely amazing. Look at the back of the box. They got Mega Man 2 on the back. This brings back memories to a more simpler time, more happier time for me. You got Castlevania, Ninja Gaiden. You got um, Final Fantasy. Never played that on the NES, but I definitely played some Mario 2, Mario 3. I mean, like this stuff right here, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you, Nintendo, and thank you for pushing out more so that we wouldn't get robbed and raped on um, eBay because I was I was not going to pay, I wasn't going to pay no three or four hundred dollars, even, I'm sorry, now maybe a hundred, a hundred, yeah, but I mean, like, come on. The, the way that thing skyrocketed and everything like that, it was completely unreasonable. It was unimaginable. And yeah, I understand supply and demand, but come on. And it says NES Classic Controller, play NES games the way they were meant to be played on full-size original NES controller. Just plug it in and you're ready to go. It includes all the original features, control pad for quick, con quick control and movement, A and B for rapid fire action, and select and start for menu selection and pausing the game. Oh my God. I'm gonna feel like I'm a kid again getting beaten for playing uh, Nintendo and instead of uh, doing my homework. NES console is a retro blast from the past with the return of the all-time favorite Nintendo Entertainment System. This mini-size NES Classic Edition is packed with 30 pre-installed classic Nintendo Entertainment Samus games from the 80s. Fully loaded and ready to play using the original style NES Classic Controller. And they have it here in different languages. You got King Koopa or Bowser as some people call him. I like calling him Bowser. And you got Link right here looking awesome. Oh my god, this thing is absolutely amazing. You got some warning symbols on the bottom side. I got the Nintendo logo here, barcode, so on and so forth. And this, of course, so it hooks up by, via HDMI, which is good. I mean, this this right here, this box, this box alone, I mean, like, I, I'm just so happy to have this. And it has the classics up here, logo with the red on top, red and white on top. This thing is just looking awesome. So what are we going to do? We're going to bust this baby open. Let me back this camera up. Oh, let me also tell you, I already did my research on this and I knew everybody was talking about um, the cords being short. 
so I had to get I got the six foot um, extension cables for the controllers and if anybody knows back in the day if you are a real gamer you got some extension cables especially if your um, TV was hooked up in the living room or whatever the case may be and you wanted to lay in bed and play your game you got some extension cables so yeah they say there's a wireless controller for this and I'm going to look for it and I'll do a review on that later but yeah we got some extension cables here and we got the console right here so give me a second and I will be right back guys back guys and I just had to open this up here we go we're busting it open on camera on screen it's my first time doing it so if anything falls apart breaks or just gets destroyed it's, it came out the package I didn't do it all right okay so let's open this thing up let's bring this back a little bit let me pull this up all right there we go nothing inside the box right here empty box beautiful box I'm keeping this box this box is gonna go up on the shelf I'm gonna keep it right up on the shelf I'll probably hang it on my wall in my office oh my god look you got this right here the Nintendo poster like the one you got back in the day in the box oh my god look at this man this is good stuff look at this Rob the robot the Nintendo zapper classic Xena that looks like a Zenith TV Oh my god, this is, man, listen, this brings back memory right here. I think I might hang this in my basement. Like, now you're playing with Power Nintendo Entertainment System. This brings back memories for me of a good, simple, fun time. I don't care what nobody says. I wouldn't give up my childhood for anything. The 80s were amazing. The 70s, I was a baby during that time, but the 80s were absolutely amazing. I loved it. So we're going to put this over to the side over here. Comes with the instructions right here. Let's bring this a little bit closer for you guys so we can see. What does it say? Blah, 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 blah. Honestly, we, everybody knows how to hook these things up. If you know how to hook up, uh, plug, in, plug in your phone, you know how to hook this thing up, all right? And again, happy 4th of July. Pardon the pops and booms and crashes outside. I'm doing this on July the 4th. I had to go outside and hit the grill, so that's why I say it took me so long to post up this video. Um, yeah, and it has all the safety instructions right there, so on and so forth. But you know what it is. Come on, let me get to the meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes. Let's take this out right here. Oh my God, look at the feel I feel. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful. You got, you got, you got the console. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be professional and really open this thing the right way. Let me bring this back a little bit. Look at this. Look at this. Why are y'all doing this to me? Thank you, Nintendo. Look at this. Cute. Look at that. Oh, man. Can you guys see it? There we go. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. It's like having a newborn baby. Look at it. This doesn't open up. That looks absolutely amazing. Got the HDMI port out here. DCN. That's where your power supply is. HDMI lets you know it's HDMI compatible. You got your controller ports right here. Your power button and your reset button. Oh my God, this feels, even though it's small, it's very small. I mean like, it's small, but not too small. It's actually the size, let me see. A DS, right? No, well, it's a little bit bigger than the DS, but I mean, it's tolerable. It's tolerable. I mean, honestly, now that I'm looking at it, I'm happier with it. Because at first, when I first saw it, heard about how small it was, I was like, man, I want to be clunky one. Nah, I actually like this. Because I'm a minimalist, and I, I'm, I don't like things taking up a lot of space. And I love to have things open. So this will fit perfectly. This is absolutely perfect. This is absolutely perfect. And it has little vents, like in the back in the day, like it did on the side here. No, this hatch doesn't open up or anything like that. But I mean, it's absolutely amazing. It has the nice little uh, plastic. It's, it's, it's plastic and like a rubbery. It feels a little rubbery right here. I could be wrong. But like it has the hard plastic and the two-tone plastic like the classic one right here. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely amazing. So what we're going to do, we're going to put that right there. See what else we got here. Rack this up. Oh my goodness. And look at this. We got the controller right here. And it only comes with one controller. I didn't know. I thought it came with two. And that's nothing. I'm going right to the Zon and getting one. I wish Toys R Us was open though, because if Toys R Us was open, I definitely would have got it, man. I love Toys I miss Toys R Us. I'm going to do a podcast on that too, because I miss Toys R Us. I really do. 
We used to go in there, had a video games all up on the wall and everything, toys stacked high. Oh my God, it's sad, it's sad. But let's be happy now, let's be happy. This is, uh, this looks like a classic replica. I mean, exact replica of the Nintendo controller. You got your select button right here, start button right there. It's looking great. A and B right there, nice little joy pad, it's nice and stiff. I mean, it feels like the classic Nintendo controller right here. I don't have one. I do have one, but it's put up. And I don't feel like digging through all that stuff to um to do a comparison. But you you guys know. You know what it is. Anybody that grew up with a Nintendo, they know what the hell it is, man. I'm not even going to go through all of that. So let's get this loose right here. Now, I heard that the cord was short. And yes, it is rather short. I, oh, yeah. This is too short. Look. Plugging this in right here. This is too short. I would have to like get yeah so that's why i got the extension cables and everything like that let's get this stuff out the way get that out the way get this ds out the way get that out the way and let's see what else is in this box in the box we have um power adapter right here with a nice little power adapter with the nintendo logo on it oh my god this is making me so happy i'm so happy to have this the other one I didn't open up yet, and I promised myself that I was going to open up this one first before I open up the other one. And yeah, that, that is fireworks out there. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Um, this, this is the Type-C. It looks like it came with a Type-C cable. Yes, it did. No, 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 no. This, uh, um, this is not a Type-C. This is not a Type-C. It's a mini USB plug. So you would plug that into your power right here. That would possibly go back here. That would possibly go back there. And it has the uh, connector right here. It has a connector right here. So if you want to plug it into your TV. And I guess you can use it either via this. Uh, no. So you can plug it into the power supply right there. And it comes also comes with a HDMI cord. So you're ready to go. You are ready to go. Look at this thing right here. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with mine after I pretty much played the few games that are on it. I'm not gonna tell you, but I guarantee you I won't need another Nintendo. I'm going to do some Dr. Franken, 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 Franken to it. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. That's wrong. Don't do it. Yeah, those are fireworks outside. And yeah, this looks amazing. Look at this. And we got the extension cables right here. And they say they measure at six feet. So that should be enough to... Um, And I got two, two came in the box rather. So I'll just order another controller, but me and my friend, we can, um, and my friends, we can share the controller in the meantime. Yeah, those fireworks are like right next to my office window. Look, nice long cord, nice long cord. Everything's good. And it fits right in the, adapt, the connect, it fits in easily just like this. You take it and look. Plug it in just like that. Boom. Straighten it out. And boom. There you have extra long, ready for ready for fighting over the controller action. Extra long. It's long. It's around about seven feet. So that's that that's that's enough. That's enough length for you to go from your TV to about to your couch or whatever without knocking a game over because it's very light. It's very light. All right. So we're gonna unplug this right here. Oh, I forgot. You gotta squeeze these. Remember to squeeze these before you pull them out. It's not like the old Nintendo. You have to squeeze these two pegs right here. If you see them right there, you gotta squeeze them right there. So we're gonna move this stuff over like there. We're gonna put this back there. Move that over there. And we're gonna do a quick comparison with it next to this one right here. And that's the Super Nintendo Mini that I got in as well. All right. 
So we're gonna look at a couple of pictures of it real quick and I'll come back with um, my final thoughts. But we're also gonna look at the gains on it as well. But I'll come back after that with my final thoughts, okay? Catch you in a few. So here we have it hooked up. I'm trying to get a good view of it. I'm in my office right now, so you guys can see it. I was gonna try to use a capture device to try to get capture the um, capture the full screen of it, but I just wanted to hurry up and get this out. So, and as you can see, I want you to see this is hooked up. It's hooked up. So I don't want you to be like, oh, this that and the other emulator or anything like that. No, it's not an emulator. This is the NES Classic re-release, and I'm actually loving it. Okay, so we're going to hit English right here. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this beautiful interface. Tech Mobile, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers, Super C, Star Trop, Punch-Out. Oh, my God. You got the display right here, so I guess you can do that with the... Um, Oh my goodness, hold on, let me try to straighten this out. I am so excited. If you look up here, you can see the display is right there, okay? I'm trying to capture this as m well as possible for you guys so that you can see. Uh, Ninja Metroid, oh my goodness. Mario Brothers, the original one. Kid Icarus, do 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 Ice Climber, Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. Uh, what a, oh, Ghosts and Goblins, Gradius, Galaga, Final Fantasy never played it on um, Nintendo, Dr. Mario, Double Dragon, do, 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 do. Donkey Kong, Simon's Quest, Castlevania, Bubble Bobble, Balloon Fight, Link, Zelda, Tech Mobile, Super, okay, so we've ran through the 30 games, oh, Mega Man, Mega Man 2, I don't, why wouldn't they put part one up there, that doesn't make any sense. Let's make sure we went through everything. It seems like we went through everything. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we can't, you can't, you can't do this, you can't do this without setting it off with the original. So this is what we're gonna do. Even though Mario Brothers is the original, the one that everybody remembers is Super Mario Brothers. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's right. You had to use a select button. Look. Like back in the day, remember? It was I'm so listen, I'm so used to using the newer controls on um stuff to where like I press this. I, I pushed up and down first. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Hit start. I remember you used to be able to go down the pole, down the um, pipes and stuff. Not yet, right? Oh, look! What are you talking about? Look at this! Oh, shit! Which one? It was a cheat on you? And you know what? There's no lag to this either. Oh my goodness, this brings back memories right here. This brings back memories. Look at this, man. Oh my God. Hold up. Now, how do we get out of here? 
ブルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルル My hands were playing like this. Look, a player like this. I gotta get used to holding a controller like this small. When I was young, I, it seemed like this was the perfect controller. But this is, it, they nailed it with this. I am so happy with this. I am very happy with this. Okay, so we're gonna back out of here. And to back out, to back out, you hit the, um, you hit the reset button right here. And it backs out. And you also have a save state right there where you can save it. You see? You just push down and it'll save for you. But I don't want to save that, so we're going to back out of that. No, I don't want to. Okay, we're going to back out of that. I want to play. Where's it at? Where's Punch Out at? And then I'll leave you guys on this one. Oh my God, I can't wait to play Kirby. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. No, not that one. Where is it at? Where's Punch Out at? Uh, there it is. Punch Out. It's not Mike Tyson's Punch Out, but it is, um, it's, um, Punch Out. Body blow, body blow, left, right, hook. He's down for the count. But no, this is not the one. This is not the original one, but I used to love this. This brings back memories right here. Let's see how good I am. See if I remember anything. Glass Joe should be your first guy. Oh, I still got it. Still got it. And it's been years since I played this. All right, so the old man still got it, still got it. So, so far, I am very pleased with this. I mean, um, I'm not disappointed with it. I'm going to back out right here because I'll be playing this all day long. And essentially, my it was for me to give my review on it. We'll try out, um, what's the next one you want us to try out? Kirby, 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 Kirby. First you draw a circle, then you dot the eyes. Add a great big smile and presto. It's Kirby. Vegetable Valley. <laughs> Look at Kirby. <laughs> he backed up when he got his boop. That's right, he was sucking in. There you go.
Oh man, this bring back memories. Okay then guys, so we're gonna go back and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this, okay? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. The whole, I, 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 I am so happy with this. No, I wouldn't approve of the price gouging, but I can see for the nostalgia factor why a lot of people gravitated and had to have this. I mean, here's a comparison next to the Super Nintendo Classic right here. This one right here, for some reason, this just does something to me just by looking at it. It just made me happy just when I pulled it out. And the size is perfect. It's measuring in at approximately, I would say, uh, I would say width about five, about five inches width and an inch and a half or close to two inches in height but it's worth it it's worth it and the diameter of it i would say like it's about yeah four inches four inches four inches during the, like you know lengthwise i guess if you want to look at it that way i mean it's worth it i'm not disappointed that i purchased this and i'm definitely going to get one for each room in my house if i can afford to or if you want to donate one to me i will definitely take it trust me i want one in each room there are um i'm going to play this for a while and I will come back maybe like a month or so and give you guys an honest review. Again, happy 4th of July. I'm gonna give you guys an honest view of what I think and so far what it's been for me since then. But um, so far, I'm happy with it. Now the Super Nintendo uh, NES Classic, then the Super Nintendo Classic, I mean, it, it was okay, but most my heart is with this. Don't get me wrong, I loved the, the Super Nintendo when I was growing up, but this right here, this means everything. I mean, like instant memories started flooding me when I got a hold of this right here. When I when I pulled this out of the box, and yes, it's a different size than the original, but it's 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 amazing. There's nothing short than being amazing that I like of this. And the controller, oh my god, just to feel it. I did not know my hand grew so much from when it, when I was a child, but like yeah, I'm able to like put this hide this whole thing in my head and stuff like that. But it's still, you know, I had to, that's why I was having a little difficulty playing Mario Brothers because I had both my hands together like this where like when I was a kid, it seemed like it was like way apart. But um, yeah, you know, I, I suggest everyone get one of these, two of these, three of these. And I can see why people were paying the price for it because now that I have it, I mean, I'm in, I'm just, it's just nostalgia heaven for me so many memories are flooding back to me me living in the me, me hanging out in the basement living in the basement as a um as like what was that i think i my grandmother let me have the basement when i was around about like 12 years old 13 years old they let me have the basement and uh just growing up in my mom's house and everything just good times just good things just started flooding my mind the music the games the covers of the games and everything that's what enjoying life and being a child and growing up in the 80s was like just for me well for me it was the 80s was a wonderful time for me the 80s was a wonderful time for me now my teen years i wasn't too happy with those but but, but like the 80s oh my god 80s were absolutely amazing so as a whole i would say pick this up definitely pick this up you you will not be disappointed if you're a nintendo fan if you grew up in the era i did you will not be disappointed with this it's well worth it I mean, there's nothing else to say. I mean, it's very compact. It looks nice and sleek wherever you put it. Cause I had it in my office. I put it on my stand. I put it on my living room stand and it looks great. It looks absolutely great. And it fits right in with the modern day consoles. It, it, it actually accents them. To me, it even accents, accents some of the furniture or the decor that you may have in your living room, dining room, bedroom, whatever. It looks, it looks adorable and it's cute. So with that being said, that brings this review to a close. Be sure to be, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more exciting news, reviews, so on and so forth. Subscribe here. Take it easy. Love you guys. And again, I will see you later. Thanks for stopping through and happy 4th of July. And don't forget to bust it open. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm so happy. I'm so happy.